What's up everyone? Welcome back to Piston Up Productions and today I'm bringing you the June hunt on my channel. Now there wasn't much I found over the past week or so. I've been out of school for about two weeks now and I've officially graduated. So I've been to about four different targets and unfortunately all I've really found was mini racers. Not really 155 scale diecast but hopefully soon I'll start finding more. But you'll see the stock throughout the video how it's not the best right now. If anything, it's just a bunch of remains of the same old stuff. But anywho, I did find some Lightyear toys from the new Buzz Lightyear Pixar movie. Um, I did find some mini racers from Cars. And you will see throughout this video different people I hung out with throughout the vlog. Some friends from school, my little brother. And yeah, it was a great time. Hopefully you enjoyed this vlog as much as I did. And um, we also do go to an antique shop that sells a bunch of like Marvel and Star Wars stuff. So I hope you enjoy that too. It is the first time I'm going but I've had friends from school tell me that they've gone and they've seen pretty cool stuff. And my own mom has gone too. And she says it's pretty nice. I don't understand why she's never told me about it up until now. But um, I'm finally getting the chance to go. And um, also stay tuned towards the end of the video because I have a special announcement regarding PCP Shorts uh, Season 3. So there's a special little pilot clip for you guys towards the end. So stay tuned for that if you want to see what the new season three of PCP is going to look like. It's just a little test sh shot footage. It's nothing big, like a minute or so or less. But um, it's just, you know, these are just announcements to get the gears going to show you guys um, what's to come this summer. So anyways, I will see you guys in the vlog video or towards the end. Hey guys, it is June 11th and I am at HEB Plus finally finding something new. Singles? No, you thought. Those? No, of course not. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. New mini racers. I think there's only... Th oh, DJ, there we go. Yeah, there's three new ones. Uh, thing is though, a case of mini racers has all of these new ones, except the DJ one, so I think I might just get the DJ one for the sake of getting the other case complete. I'll put the case listings right here on the screen, but um, there's also a new mini of um, the no stall racer, the next gen, but I do not see that one here. It is in the blind boxes. I'll also put an image of its code on the screen there, but yeah, I think this is just a full case of this case that only comes with DJ. The other case has Gray, the semi cab from Dynaco, um, it has Finn McMissile, Holly, uh, some other different ones. I think it also has this one and this one. So I mean, I either buy a full case and just have to get this one or get these and get duplicates. So I think I'm just gonna grab this one. All right, next stop is Walmart. This is a new pack I've seen recently on Instagram cruising through Radiator Springs. It has a new Thailand variation of that red Ramon from Radiator Springs. It has Flo, McQueen, Sally, and the Mater. There's also this pack called the Rocker Arms International Speedway and it has Bobby, Cal, Rusty's McQueen, Brick Yardley, and a re-release of Todd Marcus from Cars 3, made in Thailand. That's interesting. I have the Chinese version of Todd. So it's great to see the re-release. These are made in Thailand, so good riddance to Vietnam. Finally, um, Thailand has taken over these five packs. It was always so annoying seeing how Vietnam would only do the five packs. There's these Lightyear Hot Wheels also that have been released. Um, as far as singles go, there's really not that much. I mean, there's a Ramon here from Thailand. Nothing too special. Let's see, back here there's a River Scott, I think. The Hot Rod River Scott, there we go. This one is kind of new, re-release wise. Um, let's see, what else do we got here? Mm, not too much. Well, there's a Kurt with bugs, but it's not Jay with headset. Still need that guy. Uh, I am kind of falling behind on the mainline 155 scale diecast, and that's mainly because of the distribution, as always. Is it worth it though for just one new car that I don't have, or I should say a variation? Hey everyone, Piston Cup Productions here. It is early morning as you can tell, on the 14th of June at Target. This Target is about 20 minutes from my house and this Target is kind of a mess and kind of empty because they are remodeling it. The toys used to be on that side and I recorded my 18th birthday video at this Target just to give you an idea. So everything's been moved from that side to this side. And one of the biggest changes is that now they're putting the movies over here. But most of all is that they're putting a Disney store here. Or they have established a Disney store here. Very soon it's going to be right here. 
So it's going to look like the Target from Brownsville and Harlingen that are like an hour drive for me. So now I have a closer Disney store from now on. There's a bunch of Lightyear stuff that I actually kind of do want to pick up to review, maybe for a video in the future. Yeah, not bad. Looks great having a Disney store nearby. It ain't much, but I'd rather have a small one than not one at all. So yeah, there's a bunch of cool Lightyear stuff. You know what? I might get this one because I do want a classic Buzz Lightyear or Alpha Suit. A lot of good stuff so yeah it definitely does look very different the movies are gonna be all the way over there I'm supposing or assuming or maybe there I don't know but there's a lot of change happening so it is very empty but I understand because well things are changing and things are being moved around really quickly there's also these these kind of do catch my interest as well and the toy area ends right here after that, it's other stuff. A lot of items on clearance. It makes sense since they're clearing out stuff. Um, I think I'm gonna get these two for a video. I am kind of excited for Lightyear, I'm not gonna lie. Well, now I'm at HEB that is just right across the street, still looking for that no stall next gen mini racer. Uh, they just have the Dragon Light New McQueen case and a very small selection of singles, but and this pack right here, I did... Sp Anyways, as I was saying, I did uh, spot this one not too long ago at HEB Plus. But I only picked up the DJ pack because I'm waiting to get a full case of these. Um, they have these. These are quite fairly new. Those Hot Wheels. Dutch Dutchland design, whatever the heck it's called. There's a River Scott back there, kind of hiding in the shadows. Yeah, HEB hasn't had much recently. I'm gonna go to Walmart next and hope to find something. I don't know what I'm expecting to find, but maybe something. I did leave behind the Ready to Springs nighttime, whatever the fuck it's called, five pack. I might pick it up. I'm not sure yet. I mean, it's like $18 just for a new Ramon. I'm gonna think about it. Well, now we're at the Walmart. What am I expecting to find? I don't know. I'm just wasting time to be honest. Well, while I'm at it, I'm here at the Lightyear section of Walmart. I'm guessing this Crystal Grade series is a Walmart exclusive. Oh, this one's metallic. Very tempting. Yeah, they have <laughs> way too many variations of this Buzz Lightyear suit. Like, there's no tomorrow. Oh my goodness, there's so many. Oh, this is very, very tempting. I can see the differences, though. This one has that laser um, blade. He has the hair right there. Here he has the purple thing on covering his hair and this one has the helmet Ooh, very tempting i might just get the crystal grade one i'm very tempted here at the hot wheels it looks like it was just freshly stocked but it seems those didn't really quite fit i actually see some fire cars i'm surprised the resellers haven't gotten into these yet they will catch up with me soon though they probably will anywho here's the cars section of walmart what do I see at first sight? I don't see a bad selection, but I don't see anything that pops out and, you know, is worthy of purchasing that I don't already have. But it's not a bad selection. Uh, down here they have, okay, they're all the same pack. It's this one right here, the Rocker Arms five pack. Ooh, see, this looks really nice. Well, before I dropped it, but Bugatti multi-pack. Yeah, the resellers aren't gonna take long to get here. So I'm glad I was able to get footage of all of this before it gets whooped out. Right next to this Jurassic World palette, there is a Lightyear palette. And they have similar stuff to what they had at uh, Walmart. I mean, Target, my bad. Personally, I think I like the palette at Walmart. I mean, Target better than this one. This one's nice. Oh, these are tiny. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah i think i like the target palette just a little bit more and they have more of these figures here but this seems to be the only one from that crystal metallic grade all right guys it is the 15th and we are at target and hopefully we go to a walmart as well so let's see what they got <sighs> all right so let's see what they got here nothing much am i surprised not really oh ew i don't know why the color changed like that uh, i haven't seen color changes in a while two packs of mini racers and that is essentially it there is unfortunately nothing oh this is the best character by far though oh my goodness i never knew lightning mcqueen turned into a dinosaur that is, that's sick strange to see this but they left behind thor they took everyone else from the marvel legends wave except thor that feels weird but whatever there's more light your stuff and toy story i mean come on hot wheels let's see hmm Ooh, this one looks clean they straight up used a Google image or what? Is that an Instagram post? Hmm. Not much. Ooh. Okay. Not bad. So, we are now at Walmart. Do I have any expectations? No, I do not. And um, unfortunately, I have company with me. Yeah, these bozos have to follow me around whenever I do this type of stuff. Should I get this? The Coca Cola car. Oh. Peak. Let me see that. I need it. Oh, there's another one right here. Yeah, I'm gonna buy this. You're actually gonna buy the, I, I like that I'll one buy more. Both, Dead ass? Yeah, hell yeah. I like that. I have, the, I have a Coca Cola truck. You do? Yes, I have like a little figure that's a Coca Cola. I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> it was meant to be. This one got these. Oh, this one's nice. And it was a Diet Cola, Diet uh, Coke uh, mini fridge. Did you see that? The one oh, yeah. Here. Oh look, Jane Foster. Jane Foster. It's a cop. Watch your speed, son. So many Hot Wheels. Look at the monkey. It looks sick, doesn't it? It does. Do you think she's gonna be bad in the movie? Bad as in like not 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 evil bad, but like a good character? I don't know. Maybe. We're just gonna have to find out. Damn the quality of this. Watch your mouth. <laughs> Spider-Man mask. Move, bitch. Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look at all the peak merchandise for Lightyear. Wow, man. That's How, pretty cool merchandise. Look at look at this Buzz Lightyear, bro. He looks sick. What? Does does he not look sick? He looks a little bit off. <laughs> you don't say. So they have Thor, Woman Thor, Doctor Strange. There we go. Who else did they have? I think that's it. Oh, and another Thor. Cause he has a helmet. Like, so the, that's the before. comic accurate helmet, isn't it? I don't think so. No. The comic accurate, they have the, the wings. It's oh. silver. It is silver. Look. That's cool. Then. Look closer. Yeah, but I'm talking about the whole helmet. Oh. Ask him something. How are you? Name's Frozo. What? Yeah. Pretty cool, right? I guess. Um. Crime fighting's done. So let's have some fun. Let's get to it. Ask him something, Jose. Did you beat your wife? Being a super, it's all about the greater good. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. Did someone start a party without me? No. Where's my super suit? All right. <laughs> Spider-Man solos Batman. Any day. I can give you 50 reasons why. I think your fans are going to really enjoy a video about the Batman car. You should buy it. Fuck no. It's like vice versa, right? So they're doing it like, let's say, you know how Andy has his toy, right? Yeah. That, one, that has a different voice from the movie. Huh? So th this is a different voice from the actual. Yes, because this is the movie. Toy. This is the movie that Andy watched that made him fall in love with the Buzz Lightyear he bought. And the toy has a different voice from the from the movie. Yes, ah, yes, okay. that's that's oh, what yeah, it is. Really weird. That's yeah. what it is. Yes. 
because this is the real Buzz Lightyear, like the real one. But then the toy has a different. It's it's kind of like with real toys, yeah. how like some of them don't have the real actor. Like we saw the, the Thor toy right now. It didn't even have Chris Hemsworth's voice. It's it's like the same thing. So in this case, it would be like Andy's Buzz Lightyear doesn't have Chris Evans' voice, and it just, they just improvise with Tim Allen. But that's just a theory. A game theory. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, so it's Friday the 17th, starting with Marvel Legends. They have a ton of these. Who would have thought they wouldn't be rare at my local Target? Oh, look, Jane Foster. I might get Jane. Oh, look at that. They, yeah, they have a bunch of stock here. I mean, it's early in the morning. They just opened up, so it doesn't faze me that they still have stuff. I mean, at least we're getting to see all the stock before it flies away by the resellers. But um, yeah, I think they have two cases of these, maybe three. I'm not sure. So they might have picked up some, the people before us. Anyways, let's look at the car section. I might come back for Jane right now. Cars is right here. I don't see much. One pack of mini racers. There's a bunch of Lightning McQueens. There was an absence of Lightning McQueens last year on the shelves. And now he's everywhere. All right, so we got, well, my brother got Thor and I got Jane. Pretty successful trip at Target. Let's see, we're at HEB now. Oh, look, Lightyear Michi Mobile. Izzy, XL01, uh, anyways, cars. Do they have the newest mini racer from Nostal? No, they don't. Don't have any. Ooh, they got some deluxes in. That's always nice to see. Also, I'm here with my brother, Kujimir Studios. Um, they have one mini racers pack. Let's see. Do they have the... No, they don't. The McQueen made a two-pack is always sold out. These are kind of cool, but hey, look. Hot Wheels now is falling into the same thing as cars. No more blister. Oh, damn. It's just a flat... Yeah, it's not good. But, well, it is good because less plastic for the environment. I get what they're going for, but it doesn't look as nice anymore. I think these are relatively new. And they have Marvel Legends and some random Spider-Man figures. J. Jonah Jameson, nothing too exciting. All right, we're about to go to Quips and Quotes now, the antique store, and hopefully we find some good stuff there. We just stopped by this H-E-B that was literally nearby, so we'll see you guys there. All right, guys, we're here at Quips and Quotes. They have Funko Pops supposedly over there. We already saw the window, so let's see what they have. This should be awesome. Look at all the stuff they have. They have so much stuff. Hawkeye. Wow, look at all the keychains. If only they had a Wanda keychain. They have NASCAR stuff also. Oh, there's more. There's more stuff. There's look way at, more. Holy. Wow. Loki, Mobius. They already have Doctor Strange Funkos, look. Right there. They have, they're organized by series. Oh, there it is. 80 years Spider-Man. Oh, I'm gonna get this one for sure. Look, Ned, MJ, Make-A-Wish Spider-Man. Stranger Things Funko Pops, The Office. Look, it, those are on sale for $6.99. Jurassic World, Jurassic Park. Oh, Ninja Turtles. This is, this is really, The Simpsons, Squid Game. Squid Game? Oh. Wow, they, they really have everything. Oh, I've been wanting this one. Look at the, oh, I have this one, but now I like this one. I think we're gonna find some car stuff in a bit. There's just so many good things here. All oh, the pop comics. Dang, this place is awesome. Stranger Things keychains. Eleven, Dustin, Steve. Finest of Freddy's toys. Look at all the little NASCAR cars. NASCAR cars, huh? William Byron, Chase Elliott. Hey, look at Chase, uh, Chase Elliott. Daryl Wallace. Wow, this place, oh look, My Little Pony. They're all organized by like series and stuff. Look, here's Disney. 
Yeah, this is awesome. Oh, look at this one. You have the classic and the metallic one. Look, there's Doug Days also. They better make Funko Pops for cars on the road. It is so awesome to be here, and I can't believe I had never seen this place before. Like, friends from school have told me about it. My own mother has told me about it. And I'm barely finding out about it myself. These are kind of sun faded. Yep. I don't blame it, though. Marvel Zombies. Oh, oh there's Wreck-It Ralph, too. Oh, look at Spider-Man. Plushy. And what's here? Fortnite. Yeah, overall, just an amazing little store. Well, it's not little. It's actually kind of big. But this is like the toy collectibles. And they have Squishmallows, of course. <sighs> this is very tempting. They even have lounge fly bags here. Oh, the Star Wars ones are absolutely incredible. Dude, this store is... Oh, this store is awesome. Look at all the pins. Just to give you an idea, this is the rest of the store, the other side, because we were on the right side where the Funko is. This is the left side, mainly backpacks and good stuffs for home. There's this whole Star Wars collection by Vera Bradley. Mr. Queen, you say you want to get big and buff, right? Of course I do. Just pick a powder, any powder. My treat. Really? Yes. Um, ooh, what about this organic protein no, powder? No, no, no. You don't want this one. You want genuine power. What's so special about genuine power? Everything. <laughs> you see, I used to be like her, but now I'm like him. When I met you in the summer, then my heart beat down. We for a long, at least turn brown. What the dog doing? Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed my latest hunt video. You've seen the clip. I hope you enjoyed the little pilot slash screen test of the PCP Shorts Reboot Season 3 coming soon. We are switching to the smaller scale Mattel vehicles from the larger ones. Um, we're going to see how this goes. We have done small scale before, but now we're going to do it fully completely for the shorts. So that we have more ideas and more creativity and more... Um, or less restriction I should be saying because with the large scale we were restricted to just two or three characters because I don't have that many large scale vehicles and different characters mainly large scale I just have Lightning McQueen I only really had Jackson, Francesco, Mater, McQueen himself and Cruz but now that we're doing small scale the, <laughs> the limit is endless I mean I can use any character I want now and on top of that I'll be able to do stories at the Radiator Springs Precision Series um, diorama so hopefully you guys enjoy the reboot. Um, this is what I picked up at Target and Quips and Quotes. This was at Quips and Quotes for about uh, $14 with tax. And this was at Target for twenty, almost 25 bucks. And then my brother got this one. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Piss and Gut Productions signing out. And I will see you guys very soon for the PCP shorts coming hopefully in July.